Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to tell you how to add a custom starter character in Roblox Studio. So let's get started. So imagine if you wanted to make a police game and you wanted police and you wanted so it's automatically that you become a police. So this is how you add a police without having to go to morph or something. So number one, what you're going to do is you're going to, if you're making a game in R6, what you're going to do is go to game settings, then you're going to go to avatar, then click it to R6. I already selected that. You're going to click on save after that. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert a, a, an R6 character or an R15. There's supposed to be a plugin that I have, but my plugin uh, section isn't working. So you'll probably use load character, that plugin. But today we're going to add these models. So I have this model that I already imported. It's called R6 Special Humanoid. I liked it. It got the, it got the outlines, which is a new Roblox update, uh, which made it easier. This one was actually made in 2018. But uh, but the new Roblox update looks looks very similar to this where you got that like outline. I like this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna rename the starter character. It's already renamed starter character, so it's easier. Just you can see it says starter character. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it inside of starter character. Sorry, starter player. I already have one, so I'm removed that one. So what you're gonna do is you see we have a uh, starter character scripts. If you're having trouble writing it, you can just copy this and paste it here. But so after you're done, you're gonna hit play. You can see, voila. Oh god, this is very glitchy. Okay, but oh wow, this is very glitchy. But after you can see, it works. And this will say if you want to add animations, you can check out my other tutorial, which actually got 600 views. So thank you so much. 600 views so yeah uh, so as you can see it's working properly if there's a problem like it's in the air or is it, it's like stuck and you can't move there's no animation of idle or something like the end idle animation what you're gonna do is you're gonna stop playing your game like just click on that red button to stop then you're gonna click on the uh, uh, you're gonna go to home anchor then unanchor then Cause so you're gonna go. It's gonna be unanchored. You're gonna anchor it. Then you're un gonna unanchor it. Then you can see your character will be uh, working. If there doesn't, you might. There might be a problem with your studio or something. But it, I had those problems too, and I fixed them by doing this anchor and unanchor trick. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and also thank you for 600 views on my last video. Uh, I really appreciate it, and. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys learned something new like in the last video or the videos before. Okay, bye.